Welcome back again. Anthony Davis is back for the Lakers after missing 20 games due to a right foot injury. LeBron James is just 178 points away from passing by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Lakers hosting the Spurs, which means LeBron continues to climb that scoring ladder. A turnover here is going to give the Spurs some transition offense. How about Trey Jones, Decatur Bates Jock, who scores at the rim? And then off the miss, how about Zach Collins playing the offensive boards? A 13 1 Spurs run. Check it out. Anthony Davis coming off the bench, by the way. He's joined by Rui Achamora making his Lakers debut. Lakers got new toys back in the building, and they look pretty good in this game. It's AD for three. And then how about Achimura knocking in that mid-range jump shot? He can do that really well. Lakers, though, still trailing in his basketball game. It's LeBron, the rebound. Rui, get out of the way. You'll learn soon. LeBron is not passing that ball when he's got a full head of steam. Lakers still down, though. Anthony Davis off his pivot, knocking in the deuce. And then LeBron up top to AD. A 21.12 rebound, four block effort in his first game back. Third quarter, lead me open out, make you pay. Jeremy Sohan getting to the money. And then it's Russ inside the Davis for the deuce. Off the miss, guess who again is Zach Collins throwing it down. Right before the end of the third quarter, Anthony Davis trying to beat the buzzer. What he ends up doing is going down with another injury. This time it is his right ankle. He would stay in the game. He did look like he was in some pain though. Achimura finding LeBron for three. LeBron finding Thomas Bryant for two. Lakers starting to create some distance between them and San Antonio. It's a 10 point game. How about Davis on the rejection? That's what the Lakers been missing inside and then on the other end it's brody spinning and finishing the lakers win at home 113 104 they improved to just 23 and 26 on the season here's the kicker though they're only three games out of fourth place in the west the second half of the season shall be interesting Lakers unveil their new weapons. I'm going to just call Anthony Davis a new weapon. He get hurt so much. I'm going to just call him some a whole new player. I feel like we just traded for a guy that's averaging 25 and 12 at the deadline. We got Anthony Davis and we got Rui Achimura making his Lakers debut seriously as the Lakers beat the Spurs. You know, one thing that's going to happen with Anthony Davis returning to the Lakers is it's probably going to prolong LeBron's pursuit of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar by a couple of games. I'll be in Los Angeles soon. I hope I'm at the game that LeBron breaks the record at, but it's tough to kind of, you know, build around because the tickets are surging in prices right now. And, you know, everybody's excited about this record. It's this great record that LeBron's about to break. We don't know when he's going to do it. And if nothing else, Anthony Davis is going to probably take LeBron James from the 30. 5, 40, 40 on up point range, which LeBron's been scoring a lot of since the clock turned 38 for him, which obviously is around the time that Anthony Davis went down with injury. Um, he's probably going to be more closer to 22 to 28 points now, which obviously he's still get it done. But, I mean, 10 points less in three straight games is 30 points. That's a whole game's worth of points. So, I mean, I do believe this will now take a couple games more just because Anthony Davis is a presence and the Lakers want to give him the ball. They want to believe in him. He just makes it hard sometimes. I thought I, what I seen from Rui, he actually fit on the court a lot better than I thought. That mid-range jump shot allows him to space the court a little better than I thought. He will hang at the three-point line. I got to see him consistently make that shot, though. I, I like this Lakers squad. I, I really do, man. I'm the, you know, one of my partners was clowning my Lakers in, the, in our group message uh, the other day, and, and I keep telling him, man, this is not a bad team. This is a good team. I'm telling you, and he asked me, what do I think the Lakers can do this season? And I wouldn't answer the question because I really don't know, you know, but I know I, I, I watch the games. I know my eye test, man. This is the second best team LeBron has had 
since he joined the Lakers. Obviously, 1920, year we won the bubble championship, the best. Um, but I'm telling you, this is not a bad team. This is not a I'm, – I'm telling you, man, they these games against teams like San Antonio, I remember just a year or so ago, these games – were going in opposite directions. These games were going to the double OT against the Spurs, a team literally trying to tank. And, and you know, I I think the Lakers, I think Russ and LeBron have gotten in their bag of saying whether AD's out there or not, we going to do work. And if Rui can give us anything, like anything, if he can defend, be another guy with the way Thomas Bryant's playing, and we'll see what happens with Anthony Davis. We'll talk about him in a different video. I think the Lakers can climb up the West. I do. They got they got a good roster of guys that have been around a long time in some of these second half games. LeBron, we'll see where LeBron's mentality is once he passes Kareem. Somebody in my YouTube comment section brought it up the other day. Why does why not LeBron go back to point guard? And I thought that was a tremendous idea. Right now, this team with Brody coming off the bench. Could probably use LeBron going back to point like he did 1920 when he led the league in assists. And I think it could be a really good thing for the Lakers right now. I really do. If if the Lakers really got a chance, LeBron should maybe go back to point. They got some weapons now. You know, Rui, Thomas, AD, Russ. This is a team full of guys that can do something.